A medical team in Australia just produced the world's first fully artificial heart, and their first patient just survived 100 days with it while waiting to receive a donor heart transplant. Dr. Daniel Timms, the son of a plumber, spent over 25 years developing the artificial heart with his dad, using basic materials brought from local hardware stores. But what started as a backyard father and son project is now a multi-million dollar global company, even if admittedly their product kind of looks like something made for the Tin Man. Compared to other approaches that use volume displacement pumps that can damage delicate red blood cells, the Biovacore Heart uses an electromechanical rotary blood pump with a levitating impeller, which eliminates friction or shear hotspots that can crush or tear red blood cells. By monitoring increases in venous return, the amount of blood that is returned to the heart, as well as inflow pressures, the heart can detect a patient's activity level and automatically vary its speed to adjust the flow of blood to match the patient's current needs. But what's kind of fun to think about is that this unnamed patient went those 100 days without a heartbeat, instead just emanating a constant low-level hum as blood flow continuously around their body, making them as close as we've basically ever come to a real-life cyborg. In the future, doctors are hoping that this could be a solution for patients stuck on long wait lists for donor heart transplants. And who knows, with inventions like this, the phrase heart of gold might soon be replaced by heart of titanium. If you like science and keeping your finger on the pulse, follow for more.